Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a basic cinema graph in PowerPoint. Now what is a cinema graph? Let's go to Wikipedia and let it describe for us. So cinema graphs are still photographs in which a minor and repeated movement occurs forming a video clip. So lo look at this example. You see everything is still except for these little strands of uh, this grass or wheat. There's nothing else moving. And you would think that since this is moving, maybe the water should move, but that's not the case. So that's what a cinema graph is. Basically a picture, but a small piece of movement in that picture. In most cases, to create a cinema graph, you probably need some specialized software, or you can actually do it in uh, Adobe Photoshop. But if you have PowerPoint, there is actually a way to make a very simple, basic cinema graph, and I'll show you how that's done. So let's go back into PowerPoint, and let me show you some examples. Now here's an example where I created a cinema graph and we have the movement of the American flag and everything else is still. Now that's one example. Let's show another example. And this next example will show that uh, we're in a little bar here and there's just the movement of the fan. Nobody else is moving. Uh, the bartender there is still and just the fan moving. So this is actually fairly easy to do and if you want to do a very basic one, um, it's not that hard. But let's see some tips. Now, before we start to create cinema graphs, there's some things that you need to consider. You want to make sure that the video angle stays constant. There's no camera movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to source some video somewhere. And that video, you think about the camera, it doesn't move anywhere. It just uh, stays static. And whatever it's filming moves. Now, the second thing that you want to consider is there should be no movement in the background of the item. So, for example, in the flag item that I've shown, there's nothing else that's moving there. There's no birds flying by at that same time. Now, a bird may fly by later, but for the seconds that you want to capture, you don't want to have birds flying by because when you capture that portion of it, you'll notice that there's something in the background that's moving. You just want to have your particular item moving. The third thing to think about is when we source our video, that particular video could be a, bit, a little long, could be 5 seconds to 10 seconds, but in the final segment where we want to capture, probably just want about one, one second, maybe two seconds. The longer time will mean longer file sizes, so that's going to be pretty big for a PowerPoint size. I'll show you what we can do to compress some of that size, but you probably don't want anything longer than uh, one second, well, one to two seconds in your final output. So let's get into how we can do this. Now here we are in PowerPoint and I'm going to source my video. I have videos that are already downloaded but if you want to go practice on some videos you can actually get some from a free site. Let me go to this free site here. You can get them from Pixabay and you can just type in a particular keyword and look for videos and you can kind of browse through there and get a video that looks like it will fit those tips that we had mentioned about and download it and put it into your PowerPoint. So we're back here in PowerPoint and I'm going to bring that, the, one of the videos that I downloaded in. I'm going to work on the bar video where we have the movement of the fan. So let me insert that. Go to insert and I'm going to insert video and the video is on my PC. So here I've already downloaded the video. Let me double click that to open it up. It's going to open it up into PowerPoint I'm going to bring it, increase the size so it kind of fits the whole entirety of the slide here. Let me bring the that particular corner out here, All right? And let it play a little bit. So as this movie plays, you can see that we have this movement here. We've got the movement of the fans back there. Uh, the guy is making some drinks, and I just want to capture that part. And so this is pretty constant. So I can just capture anywhere. In, in there. Now to capture it I want to just focus on this particular portion of it. And first I want to do is I want to take a snapshot of this. So with this selected I'll just press Control C to copy. Let me bring a new slide in here. Go to Home, Insert, New Slide, select Blank Slide and just Control V to paste. And that would have pasted this and we want to paste it as an image. You can see that we have down here. We're going to paste it as an image, as a picture. And so there's that no no video capabilities anymore. This is just, just a picture. So I here I have a picture. And it's not it's unlike above where this is actually a video where I can play it. I just have a picture right here. What I want to do now is I want to play I want to crop this image where it focuses on just that particular fan. So with this selected, go under the video tools contextual menu, go under format and 
click crop. Now the borders on here are going to be highlighted a little bit different. We have our guides here where we can start to crop. I'm going to bring this over here and move that over. Here. Whoops, I moved the picture instead. Control Z to undo that. Let me select that little marker there. I want to move this over here. The bottom one I want to bring up here. So what we're doing is we're cropping the image. We're, we're making that portion. We just want that portion of the image, that small portion of the image. We don't want the whole thing here. Once I selected the size that I want, I just click on the crop again. And you notice everything else has been um, moved out of the image. And the only thing that focuses on is that particular fan. So let me select play and see if it plays. Yeah, so this plays right here. So I don't really need more than this. I think this is probably about 10 seconds. I don't really need that many seconds of this fan playing. So I'm going to click on playback and trim the video, right? So so as I mentioned before, I don't really need all this 10 seconds. I, I just need about a second of movement. So I'm going to move I'm going to move the playhead here probably down to a second. Right, so all I need is about a second of this, maybe even less. So that's fine. Click OK. So if I click play again, it's probably only going to play about a second. Other things I need to configure is I want to click loop until stop. So I just want to keep this going, and I want to have this uh, play start automatically. So when the slideshow starts, it's going to play it automatically. I can take this now. I'm going to Control C to copy. And since it's on the same area of this particular slide, when I press Control V, it's going to paste it over here now. So what's going to happen here is when I put this in the slideshow view, it's going to play it. Let me bring into the slideshow view, and let's see what happens. So you notice that it's playing a little bit, but it looks like there are some areas where it doesn't seem to play correctly. So maybe one second is a little bit too much. Let me let me escape to get out of this. And maybe what I need to do is reduce the timing here. Go back to playback. Let me trim the video a little bit more. And maybe just uh, half a second is OK. Click OK. And then go into slideshow view. And let's see how that works out. Uh, still not that good. All right, let me see if I can get a different area of the video here. Maybe I can go up here. All right, and this is just a little over a second. Let me bring it down. Maybe I don't need that much. All right. All right, let's click play again, or go into slideshow mode again. And let's see how it plays. All right, that's not that bad. All right. So one thing that I mentioned earlier, let me press Escape to get out of this. One thing that I mentioned earlier, and let me delete this particular slide. Right click, delete, is that this actually is probably going to be a pretty big file size. Let me save it and see how big it is. I'm going to call this one example. Click Save. Let's go back and let's go into my file manager and see how big it is. It's about uh, eight megs. So as I mentioned before, we probably want to reduce this file size. And one way that we can do that is do some compression and also just save this particular file as a video and put it back in. So let me go into File and let me compress the media. Let's see what that does. It's about 8 megs right now. Let's go to compress that media. Close. Cl click Save. And let's go back into File Manager. 
and see how it's saved. OK, so now it's about 5.6 megs. So that's not that bad. What we can further do is we can turn this particular presentation into a video file. And then we can just put it back in. So that's, another, that's an additional thing we can do. Let me go into File. Let me go to Export. And under Export, we're going to create a video. And I want presentation quality. Click Create Video. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a video of that particular slide. You can see that it's come up. I'll click Save. And it's creating the example video down here. And what I can do now is I, let me go into File Manager once this is done to see how large that video is. All right, so it's finished. Let's go into File Manager and see what we created. So this is Amplify file. It's about 2.6 megs. What I can do now is let me open up another uh, PowerPoint. Press Control N to open up another PowerPoint. Let me remove this. And I'm going to insert that video and see how big it is. Insert video, video for my PC. And let me insert that video, double click it to insert. And now it's there. Let me press, let me go into slideshow view and see how that works out. Let's see if it plays. Whoops, I forgot to set this video to play. Let me go to playback, loop until stopped, and go to automatic, and press on the slideshow. And let's see how it plays. So it plays actually pretty well. Let's play nicely. And what I can do now is I can press escape. Let's save this. Let's get out of this. Press escape again. Let's get out of this. File, save. And we're going to save it back into Let me save it back into the same folder. I'm just going to keep that presentation name. Click Save. And let me go into my file manager and see how big it is. So, oh, OK, so it's a little bit bigger. Oh, there's one thing I probably forgot to do. Let me go back to the presentation 2, go into File, is to compress that file. So if I press con click Compress Media under, present quali isn't under qual Presentation Quality, let me see how much it uh, reduces that file size. So once that's done, click Close, click Save, and go into, back into File Manager. And now it's compressed it a bunch more. So it's only 3.5 megs. So we could have kept with that example one, that first example, where we had that small, that small video in the image there. And that would have been OK, but it's probably better that we take it and go through the process where we save this particular presentation as a video, and then go through the compression of that video in that PowerPoint, and we'll reduce our file size from about 5 megs to about 3.5 megs. So that would help us out in our cinemagraph. Because if we've got a bunch of these, hopefully we don't have a bunch of these in our presentation, that's going to bloat the file size. But if we just have maybe one or two, it wouldn't be too bad. And we can just play it in the slideshow view, and you can get this really neat effect where nothing else is moving in the picture except a certain portion of it, which is this fan here. So that's an example of how we can create a cinemagraph in PowerPoint, a very basic cinemagraph when you think about it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.